Well, hello there, Jums. It is I, Captain Stephen XO, and today, Jums, I'm going to continue on with my cooking exploits. Heck yes. So now I'm going to be picking up the fungal cluster to get fungal mold. And I'm just going to get two of these, two of the fungal clusters, and then I'm going to pick up two of the gamma weed for gamma root. There we go. We've got our gamma root and we've got our fungal mold. Right, now we're going to head on over to the nutrient process yards. So yeah, I'm only going to be doing four plants in total. So here we go. Let's put the first stack into here. And the nice thing is these separate into batches of 100, which are nice and easy to separate down. So this is probably one of my favorite and quickest cooking methods. So here we go. I've saved the best till last. Right, so there we go. Put the other load of fungal mold in there. And that's turning into those weird things over there. I mean, you can't just split the stack. You have to do it like this first but don't you worry we get those on the bake lovely and jubbly then over to here and we're going to do the same with the gamma root so let's just split that and again it goes into a hundred so it's nice and easy to split separate and bake so here we go let's oh i nearly picked up my canister then whoopsie right here we go and we just chuck that into there chicka pow and chicka boom that's on the bake lovely jubbly now all we do is we go back and we split the stack from the right side to the left there we go, and that's going to make 25 um, fibrous stew. So although that we've got 200 when we first started off, when we're splitting this down, we're going to end up with 100 of the fibrous stew. It's not too bad. There we go. Off it goes. Brilliant. And then we're going to do the same again with the gamma root, which is now these um, these bean things. Let's put that over there. Chicka pow. And we'll put that there. Chicka pow. And yep, fibrous stew. And again, we're going to get 25. So we're going to end up with 100 to turn into good old crony ass over at the next ass. So here we go. Let's grab that, put that there. And same again. Lovely, jubbly. Now you could expand this out. I mean, I only took four of the plants, didn't I? I could have took, I took, could have done all eight if I wanted to. Then I'd have 200 to hand in. Heck yes, it's all relative maths. This is going to be mind blowing. And here we go. Let's head on over to the next yard. I see you guys there. So see you in the nexus in a shake of a lamb's tail. Here I am shaking my arm. It's the best I've got. I haven't really got a lamb's tail with me. Right, so here we go. I've got 161,000 nanites and I have a hundredth fibrous stew. So let's see what nanites we've got after I've turned these into good old cronia. So I'm going to go into general options. I'm going to make sure my hold to confirm is disabled so I can do this super quick. And I'm going to go into first person mode so my rectangle doesn't move every time I hand stuff in. And I don't end up jumping up and down like a grasshopper because that tends to happen when I'm in third person mode. Right, here we go. So let's hand in that. Chikapow! Awesome. And what's he going to give me? I mean, he said that was bland. He's given me 40, so that's pretty cool. I mean, this should just be like when I was doing the solar vine. I put the solar vine video up at the top right-hand corner, but I think this is actually better than the solar vine because those two plants, the fungal mold and also the gamma root, grow back far quicker than the solar vine. So this is a much better process in the way of, um, you know, farming, crafting and um, cooking. Righto, so we've got a fair few nanites on that last one, which isn't too bad. But let's have a look at the Grand Tottial. So let's pop on over, take a look, see. Right, well, I'm on 168. I was on 161, but I was on 161.6. So it's nearly 7,000 nanites. Yeah, let's just say 6.5, which is awesome, which is on par with the turning the poo into nanites, isn't it? Yes, heck yes, it is. Freaking mind-blowing stuff. So anyway, people, that's it from me. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. I want to say a massive great big thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And thank you to my backers over on Patreon and on YouTube membership. If you do want to support this channel, you could just not skip my adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. Heck yes, there's also merch on this screen now. Awesome!